Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In this video, we will learn the difference between the document and also a document. So here the D is capital and here the D is small. So let's try to learn the difference between those two. So this is a little bit advanced thing. I will try to explain as easy as possible, but a little bit of advanced. Try to understand this concept. The most common way to create an element is the create element so up to now we have learned about the traversing and all those things so now it's time for us to create an element or remove an element in the dom we need to learn those all things so how we can traverse the children parents siblings these are all the different ways the methods and all those things we have learned it now we will try to learn how to create an element in the dom the most common way how we will be creating an element in the dom is by using the create element method so where do we find this one so create element method is there right where do we find this one let's see once so if i want to show you then what i need to do is let's open this chrome browser and here oh let's say document so if i try to write document here okay document dot create element right so we are able to see this one is a html so we are able to get an html document but we should not get the html document we need to get a document object so for getting the document object, so we already learned we need to use console.log console.dir of document. Then you will get the object version. So document with a JSON notation version. If you try to see here whether we can find this create element or not, let's try to see it. So here we are not able to find it. Let's go down and here we will be having a prototype. The prototype is of type HTML document. So just try to remember and here whether we can find it or not so we are also we cannot find it so let's go to the prototype again for this one and here this prototype is a capital document so here if you try to understand here so this is capital d document this prototype is capital d now in this one if you go here and if you come down come down yeah here you will be able to find create element so that means the create element we are able to find this create element now let's move on to this one now so now we have found the create element method create element method is present in the prototype of the document so we have found it in the document we just saw that we have found this create element on this document object so we have found in the capital document object the key thing i want to point out is that it's not the same as small d this is capital d so that is what i want to write to explain you now we will compare the document to the document we all used with the small d so up to now whatever we have used the document with the small d we'll try to compare with the document capital d so what is the difference and why is there this document so what is the difference between these two and why this capital document is there we have seen the prototype of the document is the html document now we got a doubt that what is this html document and frame from where it has been came so we already seen in the window dot document if i try to show you the first prototype is html document and inside that one the prototype is the capital document so what is this html document let's try to see now all i want to do now is i want to see what this constructor does so if you console the window dot document dot constructor it has it will return the html document constructor function so let me try to show you here so if you try to console window dot document dot constructor so i want to check the constructor function for this one so if you try to see here we are able to see html document so the constructor function for this document is the html document so that is the thing i want to explain you so here we are able to get html constructor function so now by this we can conclude that the document object is constructed or created from the html document constructor function so who will create this document object small document object it is constructed or created from the html document constructor the constructor function html document constructor will create the document object so we can say that part of the purpose of the html document object is to create the document for us so what is the purpose of this html document object is that it needs to it will create a document for us who will call this html document constructor means the browser itself will call that one to create a document object for us when automatically the HTML is loaded, this HTML document object constructor function is called by the browser. In return, that constructor function will create the document object. That is also small d document object. 
okay we got the document then what is the type of the document so type of the documents what is the note type of this one so we can just console its note type by using window.document.note type so let's try to see this one here again so if i try to do window.document.note type right note type so if you try to see the window.document document note type it is 9 so if you have we have already seen in the in our uh, node names and node types so we are able to get a 9 as we have found out it console locks 9 and 9 is the code for the document node here i have written the capital d so this is the document node now we understood that html document constructor created the document and also we know that the type of the and also we know that the type is document node so the html document constructor function created this document object and this document object the type of this document object is the document node the node of this one so the document is a document node object which inherits from the document node it's capital d not the same as our small d so this document is nothing but it's a type of document node object which inherits from the document node because it inherits from the document node you could say that document node is theoretically root of the document so this it inherits from the document node so the document object which we have created it creates it inherits from the document node we can say theoretically the document that t capital document node is is the root element of the document but it isn't really the root element root of the document in all practical purposes because the root of the web page is the first element node in the document that is nothing but html so first we will try to write the html head inside the html we will be having the head and body right so practical practically what we can say is the first element node in the document is the html element itself so that is what i want to tell you you can say that the html element is the root of our html document when the html file is located in the browser it becomes the document object so when the html file is loaded in the browser so when the html file automatically loads in the browser it becomes the document object and the document is the ultimate node from which our document inherits friend so document so this capital document is the ultimate node so this is the node which our document inherits from both document and html document constructors are instantiated by the browser automatically when you load an html document so whenever you are loading an html automatically the browser instantiates this constructor function for both the document and the html document so this is what i want to tell you so this is the difference between a document and also an html document and it's not normal document object so html document construct itself creates this document object in return the type of this document object is nothing but a capital document so this is what i want to try to explain you so this is the difference between a document and document so this is little bit advanced hope you understood about this one so if you want to read more about this one you can google it and you can learn now you'll be able to understand it very easily hope you understood about the difference between those two if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you